Hi, my name is August, manufacturer rep for parts and adhesives. Today, I'm going to discuss when to choose a retaining compound versus a thread locker. Uh, they are both very similar. One part adhesives that fill the gap or space between the cylinder metal parts. Um, they, need to, they need to have this to cure, basically. You need metal to cure. Um, retaining compounds are used when there is less gap to fill up to 10 mil on, on lower gap applications, such as the bearings, bushings, and oil seals. Thread lockers are used to fill and prevent loosening on larger gaps, such as screws, joint nuts, and studs. If the gap is enough, you could, if it's small enough, a retaining compound or a thread locker can both be used, but you're gonna wanna go with the, the retaining compound if the strength is really important. So you go with it because that that's, you know, if it's less than 10 mil pretty, pretty much, and it's a small gap, you know, you can, you know, it's better to use the retaining compound because of the strength. Um, the handling strength you're going to get between, you can, depending on which formula you use, it's going to between five minutes and 60 minutes. Um, when handling strength is basically a time you can move it, basically um, move the part before you know it's not it's cured enough, basically. Um, if you have any questions on retaining compounds or thread lockers, please give me a call. Again, my name is August, manufacturer rep for Parson Adhesive. Thank you.